Hello everyone. This video will be demonstrating the link between the Simplex 4020 and the Simplex 4003. So for notification appliances, we have a 4903, 9148 speaker strobe, a 4051 horn, and a 2904, 9001 light. Now both the horn and the light only activate for a coded pole station, which has been disconnected for this demo. And down here, we also have a Honeywell SC7156-1027 chime strobe, which is just a rebranded Wheelock CH70. The speaker will be playing slow whoop and the standard 4003 evac message, while the chime strobe will be set to code 3. So here we go. silenced. Chime strobe is completely off, but the speaker strobe is still flashing. Now let's reset. And we're back to normal. Here's a brief summary of both of these panels as well as the link between the two. The 4020 far alarm control panel was first produced in the early 90s and discontinued in the early 2000s. It supports both addressable and conventional initiating devices. The main board has a capacity of 127 addressable points and four conventional points. This could be expanded to a maximum of 508 addressable points and 20 conventional points. Down here are some expansion cards and over here are some enunciators. The 4003 voice control panel provides tone and voice options to a host far alarm control panel. These were first produced in the early 90s and have been presumably discontinued in favor of the 4003 EC. The 4003 has several different audio tones, which could be selected via dip switches, as well as pre-recorded messages, which could be customized as needed. Inside the cabinet, there are two toggle switches, manual evac and all clear, as well as a microphone for paging. So here's the inside of the 4003. In a standard adjunct configuration, the 4003 is activated via a knack from the host panel which connects to these middle terminals right here. These IDC terminals will send an alarm signal back to the host panel if the manual evac switch is activated. This wire here is for earth detection. It connects from the zero volt terminal on the 4003 to the zero volt terminal on the host panel. And this connection is mandatory. If this connection is not made, the host panel cannot activate the 4003. Now on the 4020, the terminal block on top is wired a bit differently. In addition to the NAC input, most of the communication between the 4020 and the 4003 is made via the remote user interface or RUI terminals on the right. These wires go out and they connect to the RUI terminals on the 4020 CPU. The RUI is also used to communicate with enunciators. Using this RUI communications, the 4020 will be able to report 
the status of the 4003, including any troubles. It also allows for spoken walk test messages. So let's look into that. Okay, so the panel is now in walk test, and the 4003 will provide the spoken walk test messages for the speaker strobe. Any signals that aren't connected to the 4003 will just activate on continuous until the message is complete. So let's begin. There seems to be a bug with this particular detector. It's probably related to the 4020. This particular 4020 panel is running on older firmware. And this particular firmware version may have been one of the first to introduce Priority 2 and 4003 integration. So any bugs on this firmware version were likely patched out in later releases. Something to know about the spoken walk test messages on the 4020 is that they are quite similar to those on voice-capable 4100 systems, with some slight differences. Although the 4020 shares some software and components like the 4100 series, like the programmer and networking capabilities, it uses different hardware and lacks an internal voice bay. Such features were likely incorporated into the 4003, which utilizes some of these 4100 components. Yet, certain features like the spoken walk test and IOI communications are exclusive to the 4020. And that concludes our demo of the Simplex 4020 Fire Alarm Control Panel with the Simplex 4003 Voice Control Panel. I'd like to give a special thanks to Nick Su and Simplex Guy for programming the 4020. I hope this video was informative to you. Questions and comments are always appreciated as per usual. And until next time, have a nice day.